All right, cool. We're in a menu. Hello and a welcome to Black Myth Wukong. This is the uh, first time playing it, and it just came out today. I pre-ordered the game. Got a little deluxe bonus with a new costume that came with it. I was tempted to get a physical copy, which would be not used. I want to play it on my PC is the thing, but I don't want a physical copy for my PC because I don't have a disk drive. Everything on my PC is just digital downloads. But I also wouldn't want to purchase the Steam version because it doesn't give me a physical disk, which makes it confusing because you give me a physical disk, it's not going to get used. Uh, but the bonuses, like a crown, little Wukong crown, or a uh, statue would have been awesome to have displayed on my little special collector's edition uh, bookcase that I got going on. But I talked myself out of it and was like, oh, I can find a crown to 3D print and maybe I can find the statue to either 3D print or just buy the statue by itself without getting the game. Uh, I think that was the $400 one too. So I was like, yeah, I'm not paying that much for it. The crown one was a little more like for what collectible editions go for around the $100 range. But uh, I steadfast and I just went with the $10 more than average edition and will take digital additional content. But this game looked really interesting. I normally also don't like to pre-order games because I don't know how well they're going to play and uh, kind of really iffy about getting a game on release instead would wait see what the audience says see what the people say see if there's any type of issues that I should be aware of is this gonna brick my PC who knows maybe is my PC strong enough to even play this game it can't play it at the highest settings but according to the benchmark tool that they provided to you for free I can play it at high settings or very high settings on certain parts on top of having geoforce which also runs its own thing to show what i can play it at i could get a better graphics card but also i can't really go higher than 1080p uh just because that's the monitor that i play on only goes that high in resolution so i didn't really see a reason to do that because i'm not gonna get the best graphics as is just looking at the menu and the detail on Wukong's armor, the fur and everything, it looks great. I don't need to have it at like 4K quality or anything like that. 1080p is fine with me. It's really going to be mostly gameplay that I'm going to be focusing on in story. Because I enjoy me a good story. But the graphics has been one of the big selling points for this game. And uh, I'm sure it's going to be beautiful. So, without further ado, let's get in the game. Also, gonna tell you to English text, Chinese voice is how I'm doing this. So it's gonna have subtitles in it, and uh, hopefully that's not a, a killing point for some of you. I just figure with it being Journey to West, one of my favorite stories is what inspired Dragon Ball Z. I like the original story of Journey to the West and the large amount of Kung Fu movies that get made based on it as well. So uh, I wanted to keep it with uh, Chinese voices, English text, because that's how I've watched all those movies. All right, let's get into it. I'm sure I'm going to have some lagging. It's not going to be a surprise for me. Ooh, these guys. Like how Wukong kind of looks like Lu Bu. Mm 
there goes that sound lag. Who do we hit first? Fighting on a cloud against a large army. Hey there. Shagumingbuya 我不懂的事，你他娘的杀我好子好孙！Look at the nostrils on that guy. Shi 留在这里产品花果山这事就算过去了如何这么多年了除了那只猪头就说你最会扯淡最能逗老孙开心杨兄弟你放心待会儿我只拔下你额头上那颗眼睛尝尝鲜其他两颗先给你留着我让你亲眼看看我是怎么杀光天晴每一条狗的这里的上面的还有刚刚那条黑的留着点一起上吧老天一再给你机会我当 target do a light attack. Roll to invade incoming. Oh, my God. 
heavy attack. Boom. Oh, he ran away. Oh, there he is. Dotarsumfo <laughs> bit of his health. stone and then just blast the stone. <laughs> Some quick time events would be really cool. Ah, oh, they attacked the mount. Like God of War quick time events. <laughs> oh, we 
about to get a bird fight. his head again. Maybe it was the first time, I'm not sure where we are in the story. Oosh. Damn. That's pretty cool. Jesus 谁知他辞了佛位在山里出了不知多少时间我打小听人说齐天大圣的尸身就藏在里面他乃天产石猴本有不生不灭的大神通纵然不幸身死但神魂没有完全消散我老了复生之时。Awesome intro. I liked it. Woo! Got the achievement. The old monkey has told the tale. Chapter 1, Black Cloud, Red Fire. I have to apologize, too, because I know that uh, Flog Dog's probably going to be upset that I'm doing this in Chinese because he can't read the subtitles while he's driving. <laughs> uh, I didn't think about that until, like, partway through the fight when they're all talking. And I was like, oh, well, they could read the subtitles. Unless they're doing something else. Ah, shit. He's gonna drive. He's not gonna be able to read these all. Oh. Sorry about that. I'm not starting over, though. I'm, I'm doing this for me. This is my enjoyment. You just get to watch. So he'll say something, you may hear me go, ha, ha, ha. Just know he said something funny. Or if I gasp, ha. Just know he said something shocking. You are from like, oh, then something surprising happened. So, hopefully that'll help you. Oh, 
偷盘阎王，命不休。哎 ，It's a peach。缘到福自有，大哥，真是有口福啊 ！Are those fox people？ 是从哪个山头上滚下来的？这桃倒是识趣儿。有个小猴子，敢作弄你 ！It was actually a monkey. So we're not playing the original Sun Wukong. We're playing a Wukong. And so this is some about portrait updates. Do I just go anywhere? Kind of looks like I could go anywhere. Okay, maybe not. Is this a cave that I can go into? There's our run button. We now have our stamina and health. No special abilities. So oh, there we go. Sprint. I've been holding down a different button though. Get there. Get there. There we go. Hey there. Why to perform a heavy attack, which we did that. Oh yeah. Go up the steps. Beautiful landscape. Hmm. Got a fork in the road. See a chest over there though. Eh, I think I'm gonna go for the chest. Charge heavy attack, hold Y to charge and build up focus. Hold heavy attack to charge, charging costs stamina, but quickly builds up focus. Okay. Hey there. <laughs> what do we got? Tiny piece of gold. Times five. Oh, then there's this guy too. New lesser Yaguai anecdote reported. Just because I was a new. So that's a Yaguai? Yagua? Is this a shrine? Fuck your hair and make an offer. Ooh. Cherry blossom. <laughs> What is that guy? Spirit of some kind. Taiwan 只可惜，那场大火哟。嗯。Think of a back scratcher that guy has。这禅院又被重建了，可人心若是烧没了，修好一座破庙，又有什么用呢？哈哈哈。Incense trail talisman special items. Offer incense. What does that do? 
lets me rest, travel, trailblazer gifts. Oh, we got that. Deluxe edition gifts. Collect all of them? I did. Travel instantly to any keeper shrine where incense have already been offered. Take a rest. Forest of Wolves. Front Hills. Uh, rest fully restore your conditions and replenish your gourd. Enemies will also respawn. We don't need to do that, though. Can I change my equipment? Are they just cosmetic based or do they actually... Oh no, we get some stat upgrades. We get a bronze cloud staff. Go quick too and check just to make sure. I was playing dot hack before this and I mute the desktop audio and I'm pretty sure I turned it on. But then as I was playing, I was like, wait, did I? Did I do that? I did. I was good about it. The folk opera mask. Uh, every bit we get all of it, we get moderately increase the will gained from defeating enemies. Let's wear it. Let's continue the rest of this with this stuff here. Folk opera leather braces. Racers. And the folk opera buskins. Moderately increase the will gained from defeating the enemy. We now have that special ability. Hero? Ah, the wind chime. They had that as like a uh, slightly increased movement speed. As a, uh, what you call it? Good old, a good old, what you call it? Physical thing for one of the uh, Trailblazers Scarlet Gourd. Coconut wine. Each sip restores 3-3% of maximum health. Oh, okay, so these are little healing casks that we have. Both have coconut wine. When this gourd is full, the first sip replenishes to full health. Lovely. So you can get a wind chime like this as a, a physical collector's edition. I like the way that looks. Really nice looking. Inventory, we got the incense trowel talisman. Using the talisman shall immediately free the soul from the body and guide it back to the last keeper shrine visited for resurrection. Tiny pieces of gold, tiny piece of gold, its origins indescribable. Perhaps some trade could be done at the Keeper Shrine. Okay, there's coconut wine, which is what we got. H, ginseng, it is believed that which bears the semblance of a human shape doth possesses a kindred spirit. This can be used to make medicine. Okay, so there's gonna be a crafting component to it too. And then the journal, Lesser Yaguas. Oh, they're wolves. Wolf Scouts. Wolf Sworn Sword. I'm loving this art, by the way. And a Wolf Stalwart. So a Yaguas is a wolf. Let's go further in. Hello there. Oh, you got them good there. And a new record. Because we came to a new type of Iaqua. Forest of Wolves. Hello there. Little wolf boy. Weren't quick enough. There's another one. Gather up these mushrooms. Nine cap Lengaji. Hey there. Jin tonight. There's a 
that a Yagwai? It doesn't look like a Yagwai. Looks like a rat. Hey there. Hmm. Is he looking at this? Skanda form, a key item. Some mushrooms. Although we haven't gotten into the crafting side just yet. Still worth taking. There's a little rabbit right here. Can I attack the rabbit? Hey, something big. Something really big. You don't look like a wolf. Wool guard. Hey there. kind of attacks do you do? Ooh! Big attacks! Ooh, I jumped too. There's sell me to drink. charge an attack and should not have done that. Uh-oh, something's happening. Oh, it's cutsy. He's frozen. Oh, the little guy's helping us out. Just <laughs> climbing off of him. Good work. He's a we learned immobilize. A simple hand gesture can bind the enemy in place. Jonathan,对方动弹不得,你也可喘息片刻。只是小老儿道很浅薄,这定身效果不消片刻就会失灵。遇到些笨货倒还好用。你全当是正个棒身的手段吧。is the only way. Self-advance in sparks. I have to open self-advance to awaken talents, level up to gain sparks, and awaken more abilities and spells. Sparks will not be lost upon resurrection. Am I supposed to do that here? Should say to pause, I guess so. Uh, self-advance. Here we are. I must have skipped over this. We have uh, two in the right corner, so two sparks. 
uh, seeking guidance from the deities. Better to steer your own path, chanting scriptures. Better to have abilities and hands. 127 of those, well. Wow. Foundations, enhance your vigor, solidify your foundation, and strengthen your flexibility. And then you've got spells, mysticism. As vast as the universe, as minute as a hair, so minute as a hair, ever-changing and unpredictable. Uh, I guess we should pick a staff stance. Acquire new stances, refine mastery and focus. Foundations, which is the enhancing or vigor part. Pick a stance. Smash stance. Plus one spark. Can't do the pillar stance yet because we're not high enough level. Uh, each talent level slightly increases the health recovery upon consuming a focus point. This one enable sprinting while charging. Oh, that's cool. Resolution counter flow. Performing a heavy attack during a light attack combo with a focus point consumed. Allows the Destined One to execute Resolute Strike. During Resolute Strike, the Destined One can see through the incoming enemy attack and nullify their damage. Enemies that have been seen through are easier to stagger. Kinda like the running charge. Boom. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. That's the one I'm gonna do. All right, and then foundations, maybe? I don't really know about doing too much on the mysticism side. Crash. Each talent level moderately increases damage dealt to immobilized enemies. Hitting an immobilized enemy with light attacks slightly extends the duration of the next immobilization effect on them. This effect can stack up to five times. We've got stamina. Each talent level moderately reduces the stamina cost of sprinting. Each talent level moderately reduces the stamina cost of dodging. I do like dodging. A swift engage. Each talent level significantly increases the engage distance of light attack starter. Mobile spin. Left stick. Moving forward, left stick while using staff spin initiates mobile spin. The destined one spins his staff around his body, deflecting projectiles. That might be something to get. And then survival, robust constitution. Each talent level moderately increases our health. And a rampant vigor. Each talent level moderately increases maximum stamina. I think I'm going to do this. This looks like a really fun move. Alright. There we go. Just curious. Uses quite a bit of stamina. Is this a shrine? Not one of my shrines. That was a toad person. Oh, he blows up into something. This looks poisonous, too. And over there. Jade Lotus. Oh, it's like our stamina is poisoned. I 
claim that. I cannot. Seemed like something I could climb up on. It's a brazier. Then there's this person. Stone spirit. That's something different. Ah, oh, here we go. It's a little incense area right here. We shall meditate. Oh, I guess maybe not a safe place. Isn't that a nice, creepy-looking manor? We gained a spark. I can use that spark for a thing. Should I use it on a mysticism spell? Increased damage dealt to immobilized enemies, or hitting an immobilized enemy with light attacks slightly extends the duration of the next immobilization. Uh, I think I'll start with giving it more damage first. <sighs> Can I break these? Yes! Ooh, can you break that? Something here. Oh, it looks like this is the way that we are supposed to go. Thought I could, like, jump down to get to that banner thing. Here we go. Offer an incense. And I definitely think we should rest. Reignite the spark. Reallocate sparks from the awakened talents. That's cool. Store. Hey, we got a store. I can sell things here. Like these. I guess I could have just tapped over to buy instead of going back here. Evil repelling medicament. Upon use, considerably increased damage reduction for a long duration. Upon use, instantly remove burn state and significantly increase burn resistance for a short duration. Antimiasm powder. Upon use, instantly remove poison state, significantly increase poison resistance. Uh, yarn. General armor material. By day, they patrol the hills at night. They spin their yarns, such as the life of lesser guys. Their hard-earned yarn can be used to craft armor. Oh, so I can learn to craft armor. Wonder when I get into the crafting part. Stone spirit, which is something we picked up, and that's weapon material, so same thing. Craft weapons. Here's the plants we've been gathering. We haven't got any of these. Snake head mushrooms. And then it breaks it all down at that. So I don't think we actually need to get anything just yet. So I'm going to hold off. And we will rest. So I can refill my gourd. Where'd my mask go? Oh, cutscene. <laughs> Hey, 
小庙还有诸多神奇妙用，日后你自会明白。<咳>Person chanting there. Ooh, a treasure box and a bridge. What's up here? Looks like this goes somewhere too. Actions cost stamina. Guess I can't always transform back and forth. I'm gonna go back for that chest though. This area looks like it just got a whole lot bigger too. in the head. Lesser Yogwai Actidote Reporter. What's in here? Evil repelling medibit and a tiny piece of gold times five. Let's go after this guy. Curious to go across the bridge. But there's just so much of this area to explore. And I want to explore it all. Oh! Hello. What are you? Ooh, better grab me. Ooh. Okay. Go ahead and mobilize you. <laughs> we did it. I don't know if it's going to explode or do something. Looks like there's another path around here somewhere. Let's see, we can go even further back here, and I'm just always the curious little monkey of what's at this waterfall. Hey there. Just not fast enough. What is over here at this waterfall? Are there more frog people? There's somebody standing there. Looks like a big somebody too. I 
Hey there. Oh, it's a crow. Kaniku or a Tengu, perhaps. Ooh, pretty good shot. Ooh, that hurt. little guy. We got another spark for that. So I guess you Alguais aren't just wolf people. They can be other types of creatures as well. Go around this way. Here's somebody. What do we see from this side? Anything? Guess not. We're gonna go around the corner. First things first, though. We've got two sparks that we could use. We could do another thing with this and trip at lunch. Initiate a heavy attack during mobile spin to quickly engage and stagger an enemy. Yes. Let's do that one. Uh, staff stances. Do we want to do anything else? Pillar stance. We can do that now. Switching to pillar stance up allows the destined one to support himself with his staff and ascend to its top by holding Y, avoiding ground attacks in the process. The more focus point he builds. The higher he perches, if the staff is hit by the enemy while perching, more stamina will be consumed to maintain balance. That's funny. It might be fun to do. Increase health recovery upon consuming focus points. Spend more sparks to awaken, so we gotta spend three sparks to get that. I wanna do a pillar sense. I can't do anymore. But I can hold it like stand up there. What's the other stance? Okay, just the regular stance. Anything over here? What's this? Jade Lotus. Ooh. Hang on a moment. Oh, I thought I saw a giant spider web. Oh, look at that thing. What are you? Hello there. Big headed fellow. Ooh. 
bad to fight. Ooh. Oh, Wandering White. Okay, guess he is a bad guy to fight. Ooh. Ever the curious monkey I am. I'm so sorry. I feel bad. Oh, what does that do? Oh, hey. Oh, wow. Okay. My goodness. Ooh. That was a strong attack. And it killed me. Really should have taken a drink. Ooh, 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 boy. Can I be transformed into a bug again? Nope, guess not. Maybe I can just find a different route then. Explore a little more. Hello, gentlemen. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna stand on top of my pole. Hello there. Let us go fight the wandering white. Hello. Is my... Do I have, like, spirit essence over here or something I'm supposed to gather? Guess not. Can I immobilize you? I can. So strong. Strand of hair houses my soul. So that's what that is. We got him. Maybe this guy's a heavy attack only type person. Ooh, tried to get him. Should drink. Ooh, ooh, ooh.
yes, we can run from this. Who could not run from that, though? Dodged. I dodged that one. Oh, last of our healing. Ah, that's gonna hurt me. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, it got me there. It's that last little blast attack that seems to get us. Oh, we got closer, and I think the strat's just hitting him in the face with our pole dancing thing. Our little, uh, top of the pole attack. Getting in cheeky little hits where we can. And then dodging as best we can. to spark where should we put it in should we do it in mysticism I do it that oh more damage to them when they're immobile hello again Ooh, gotta practice dodging that. enough away that it wasn't going to affect Ooh. 
from way over there. I didn't see him charging the fist attack. We almost had him that time, too. We're going to get him. I will not surpass or go past this point until we defeat him. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's keep going. Let's keep moving. Me, the monkey on the high pillar. Dormammu, I have come to bargain. We dodged it. Let's go away from it. Ooh. And then that. Let's not get hit by that. Ooh. Yay, we dodged. We're learning. in time. For some reason, it pulled up that kind of weird menu thing I was trying to hit immobilize. Ooh, 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 ooh
hitting me more than I'd like. We defeated the Wandering White. Ooh, what's this thing? Cat's eye beads. Cannot absorb spirits without guidance. So I can uh, absorb that? Blood of the Iron Bull. Bastard? Cat eye beads. Slightly increased critical hit chance. Very nice. I will take that. Is it? Blood of the Iron Bull. To achieve greatness, one's efforts must surpass the feet of a mosquito drawing blood from an iron bull. To cultivate a strong spirit, this is what you need. Alright. Oh, it's a key item. Man shrinks at odor. But smiles at beauty, which is only natural. Once hidden inside the Buddha's head, this treasure has a secret yet to be revealed. Examine it. Very nice. So what am I supposed to do with this spirit now? I guess I just leave it. And that is where we're going to end the video. I could keep this video going. I just wanted to keep it short because, well, I think over an hour is kind of long. The first video for this series is going to be an hour long, uncut. Just let it go, you know. Whatever happened during that hour, you're getting to see what I did in that hour. The next video, however, I think I'll keep them down to 30 minutes and uh, cut the videos here and there maybe just kind of focus so much more on the fights because there's a lot of boss fights in here from what I've heard 80 different boss fights that you can get into I think we only just seen two of them and there are still plenty more to see so thank you all for watching 
and I'll see you in the next game of Black Myth Wukong. Goodbye.